All right, hey y'all, welcome back for uh, embodying the divine feminine energy. I know I haven't been here in a couple days. I was watching Good Girls on Netflix. Okay, <clears throat> today we have Teresa of Avalia, Avala, I don't know, I suck at reading. Our Lady of the Interior Life. I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. All right, here we go. Struggle bus of reading. Here we go. <clears throat> With passion and conviction, Teresa of Avela, I don't know how to say that, so let's just use our imaginations, connects us to the love and truth available to us whenever we turn inward. St. Teresa was born in Avila, Spain. In 1515, as an adolescent, she experienced many illnesses and was confined to a bed which allowed her to begin to explore her own thoughts. She read every book she could find on spiritual exploration and contemplative prayer. By the time she was a young ad adult, she knew what she wanted to dedicate her life to the interior world. She entered a Carmelite co convent in Avila in 1535. She increased an emphasis, the emphasis on the contemplat contemplative prayer and eventually reformed the Carmelite Order, which was later joined by St. John of the Cross. Over the course of her life, St. Teresa founded 17 convents throughout Spain. At the age of 44, she began to have a series of visions that convinced her that Jesus Christ appeared to her in a bodily form and yet remained invisible to the eye. These visions lasted for two years and would inform her books, especially the spiritual masterpiece of the Interior Castle, which charts the ascent of the soul as the inner journey through the seven mansions, or states of being, that exist within us. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. Ultimately, Teresa wrote in the hope of assisting her sisters in the convent to also reach the innermost castle where God dwells in our soul. She reminded them that we ourselves are the castle and that the door of entry into this castle is prayer and meditation. Her own personal spiritual experience is at the root of her instruction. The closer she gets to the seventh mansion where the soul ascends, which requires going further inward, the stronger the light is. She describes the ways to discern the voice and the presence of the divine within us and the certainty of God that arrives that cannot, just, cannot be explained or dotted. This inner journey was so significant that St. Teresa, because she believed that God didn't care about the magnitude of anything we do, but rather the amount of love we do it with. Pope Paul VI named Teresa a doctor of the church in 1970. Her spiritual writings are considered integral to the Spanish re Renaissance and to the history of Christian mysticism. St. Teresa is a call for the importance of the interior life. She knew intimately about the spiritual wealth we all possess and have access to if we are willing to go inward. She not only emphasized the need to meditate and to pray in order to reach that innermost castle where the soul waits for us, but she also instructed the sisters of her convent on how to discern the presence of the soul or of a saint or of a holy person that is giving us witness from within us. She had a bookmark that supposedly read, if you have God, you will want for nothing. God alone suffices. The synthesis of the wisdom of experience. Baby, I'm doing something right now. Give me a sec. Uh, nothing less than divine love will satiate, satiate a seeker, a seeker, especially once you have met with it from within jesus she urges us to meditate to pray to go inward and to meet with the presence of the soul and then she asks us to believe that it is real and that the answers we find are real she asks us to move that inner truth out into the world with confidence and conviction 
the meditation for your soul what does love feel like in my body again the intentions i trust the answers answers i find within me i know what, what that the presence of love is real i have a lot to say on this but i feel like it's things i've already said uh i really resonate with her that was great um i truly believe by doing our shadow work our decolonizing those are ways to uh get to that innermost light and i think that castle metaphor is really cool i'm glad it made sense to them um but we do have new words for that nowadays but i will get back to you on this oh what do you need honey why'd you why'd you get off the wi-fi mm -hmm. all right i'll see you soon <laughs>